So if you look at this table, the DVD table, the DVD table has a cost applied to each um, DVD and the quantity. So if I wanted to find how much money in stock I have, whatever, I multiply the cost of the DVD, or to borrow it, and multiply that by the quantity that I have, and then I'll know how much, how much, um, how much money in DVDs I have in stock. So I'm going to do a calculated query on the DVDs table. So I'm going to create query design. I'm going by query design, but this time I'm only using one table, right? So we go into the query, and then we want to choose the fields that we want. So I want to get the title of the DVD. What else? I just need the title of the DVD. I want to get the cost of the DVD. And then I want to get the quantity of the DVD. Now, now I need to open up Notepad for you to see this one. Right. Now, when you do a calculated query, what you have to do is you have to follow a particular format. So you have to give the query a name. So you'll say total, right? And then you put a colon. And then you have to put the name of the field that you want to multiply by. So I want to multiply the cost field and multiply it by the quantity field. What will happen now is a new field, a totally new field will be created and the name of the totally new field is going to be called total. And what it's going to do is take whatever number is inside cost and multiply by quantity and put that answer inside total. So I'm going to take the same thing there now. So in the field, I'm not going to choose a field from the drop down. I'm going to actually type the information in that I want, which is that. So exactly what I had in the notepad here, that's what I'm putting down here, just in case you can't see clearly. When I click run, it will show me the name of the DVD, the cost of the DVD, the quantity, and then the total. But remember, total is never part of the DVD table. I just calculated that. You'll see now I have cost, quantity, and total. 